Hey the mistake of the family, it's me Violet Flesh back again with another video. So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make my Roblox character curvy and with minimal Lego bits. So let's dive straight into the video. So first I'm going to show you what you need. You need this Roblox extension here. So this is a, in, this is a browser extension. So it's called BT Roblox dash making Roblox better. Ensure you have that extension installed into your browser and then we can move right along into the Roblox store itself. So make sure you're still on the Roblox uh, web page and then you want to hit the cogwheel on the top right here and then if your extension has been installed you will see this new option called BTR settings. So you want to open up the BTR settings and you want to scroll all the way down to advanced. It will be closed for you unless you've been here before and then open up advanced um, the only thing we need to make sure is checked is this option here the avatar dot remove layered limits make sure that is checked all other settings explore at your own free free will but that's all we need today so once that's checked you can close this and basically what that lets us do is add as much 3d clothing as we like um, I think there is basically no limit to this and then we can change um, yeah we can change things up we can add lots more 3d clothing so basically what this helps with is um, I noticed with pants a lot of shoes are included under pants um, but now you can wear both the pants so you say you have some jeans but you also have some cute shoes that you brought you can now wear those at the same time so this is kind of key for what we're going to do today so next up you're going to need these two body types you're going to need the iron bulb uh character I guess this is called you're going to need the iron bulb character and you're also going to need the elf assassin character so we need these as these are going to be our base so let's put on our bases so once you have purchased those two characters, you want to equip the Iron Bulb head and you want to equip the Elf Assassin torso, legs and arms. And that's basically the base that we are working with. It, sh it looks quite weird now, but don't worry, we will fix it. So next up, you are going to need this full body suit. So this person, Dockery, does do the suit in different skin tones. So don't worry if you're worried it's just a pale skin tone. That's the only one. I use um, but they do do other skin tones if you'd like to explore so once you have purchased your skin tone it will be under jackets so we want to equip it our jacket here and then as you can see this is what we have now so as you can see it's kind of resembling a uh, more normal uh, a more humanoid looking body minus the very big head so if you like the shape this is now you can keep this as is if you're happy with the slender shape that's absolutely fine me personally i like a little bit of curves and a little bit of chonk so now i'm going to show you how to achieve the chonky bodies so to achieve the level of caboose <laughs> that i have i use the puffy shorts so i've got them in red the colors really do not matter because what we're going to use is we're going to use that browser extension and the layers to drag this these shorts basically underneath the jacket layer so make sure you get these puffy shorts as i said color does not matter and make sure you get the fuzzy bunny top um, what some people do to get an extra bust is they they layer up both the fuzzy bunny sleepwear top and the bow top underneath here sometimes if people want a really big uh chest they will use both of those me personally i just use the fuzzy bunny top on its own so let's equip those and see what shape we're working with so the fuzzy bunny top is going to be under t-shirts so i'm going to pop that on and of course the shorts are going to be under shorts so as you can see because a jacket layer is typically above a shorts um, t-shirt so you can see our layers here we've got the skin above the bunny and the shorts that is what we want we don't want the top above the skin layer we don't want anything at this moment above the skin layer and this is the body we are working with now this is the level of curviness chonkiness that i like to have with my avatars so now i'm going to show you how to add clothes on top 
So I really like this dress so I'm going to add it on. So as you can see on the side here the dress has popped up below the skin layer, below that jacket layer. So not to fear, what we're going to do is we're going to use these arrows here. Again this is the extension kicking in. So we're just going to hit up and up again and then the character will load in with our dress. And here we go, a lovely curvy dress on a curvy body. That's basically it. Um, so now I'm going to add a little bit more personality to this avatar and I'll show you the results. Okay, one thing that you should keep in mind um, is while doing the hairs when you're using the light bulb head, is um, sometimes your heads can peek through your hair so it does not matter really that much with blonde hair just because the skin kind of blends in using the pale skin tone um, but for different skin tones or different hair colors or vice versa it will be more noticeable but don't worry there are plenty of hairs that do fit and that won't clip out so i'm going to show you the faces that i use so i'm going to go into face here and as you can see i have purchased quite a lot of them just because these are my favorite to use i really enjoy using these um because these ones are poked out right and you know it's it's not too bad looking and um, so yeah that is basically the personality added so now i'm going to also show you the good thing about this um, extension that i've had you install so we've got we've already got pants and shorts in regular Roblox, you cannot have shorts and pants on at the same time. You can't even have a dress slash skirt on at the same time as pants and shorts. But I want to add some shoes to this outfit. So I'm going to add these fur pink boots. And as you can see, like the dress, it has popped under the skin jacket layer above here. So we're going to use those same arrows just to pop those on top. And beautiful, here we go, we've got those very cute boots and the dress, which you can't do in regular Roblox, which is why the extension is incredibly important for the outfit and just to make the, out the uh, body work alone. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you've got loads of clothes on. Okay, as you can see here, I have at least three jackets on and I've got multiple other accessories on, but I can't make sure that they're all above the skin layer. So a good way to sort this is to go into the Roblox application. So once you're in the Roblox application, you want to go to your avatar and then you want to hit the customize here and then click on this icon here, which is the lines with the circles. And here we can also adjust our layering. This is a lot more convenient than using the web browser because as I've already stated, the web browser can only show you so much um, excess, sorry, so much clothing that you've got on. So if you've got more than more clothing than the browser, they can show you go into the roblox app and then you can pull and you can re um, adjust your layers so i'm going to put my skin jacket all the way down to the bottom and there we go um we've got our outfit all sorted so as you can see i have definitely been having lots of fun with this i have made so many cute outfits out of this this one being the original that someone requested and it's just it's just honestly a lot of fun and i really hope you put more people do this just because it means the more people using this method to make smoother looking avatars the more 3d clothing we'll get that matches these types of avatars so we won't have too much clipping in the future so I really hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any comments or concerns, um, please leave them in the comment section and I will try my hardest to answer those questions for you. But I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon or evening. Make sure to stay safe, make sure to be kind and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!